Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Fashion News. My name is Brittany and today is Tiara Tuesday. And yes, you are seeing me today because I wanted to dress up and I wanted to be pretty because next week is a South African state visit in the UK. And today we're gonna be talking about some of the tiara options we might see on Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine, yes, I am so excited for the two of them to make their mark basically on the Queen's or the, the British royal family's jewelry vault. The Queen has very much had control over that and she's been, I would say, rather stingy with sharing some of her pieces. So I'm really, really excited about the possibility that we may see more jewelry, more tiaras, different things that we haven't seen in some cases for almost a century. And Again, I cannot stress enough how thrilled I am to be checking it out this week. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, just to start out with, what I will say is two tiaras I am absolutely positive we will not see. The first is the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland. So this tiara is very, very closely associated with the queen. And I do not foresee Camilla deciding to wear this particular piece. I just think it's a bit risky as she is the new queen. And I don't feel like people would warm to it very much. And although Camilla has had a bump in popularity, I feel like she does need to tread carefully here. Don't try to automatically steal all the queen's jewels. I mean, they, they belong to the state, basically. They don't belong, or the royal estate, they don't belong to Her Majesty the Queen individually, except for some pieces. But I would strongly, strongly recommend that Camilla steer clear of that one. And the other one I'm absolutely positive we will not see, and this would be one that Catherine could wear. And that's the Strathmore Rose Tiara. We have heard that this tiara is too delicate to be worn. I'm hoping that at some point with the change with Camilla becoming queen and Catherine after her, that maybe there'll be some sort of effort made to shore it up, to change it, to address whatever issues are making it unstable. That may not be something possible, but I really hope that's something they look into. Okay, so now for my first pick of a tiara, I would say that perhaps could be worn by Catherine, maybe Camilla, but I feel like it's more a, of a a crown princess level tiara, not one of the big guns. And that is the Queen's Belgian Sapphire Tiara. This one, especially with her engagement ring, I feel like would be a fantastic choice for Catherine. It's beautiful, it's lovely, and I feel like it's something that she could really pull off, especially with the sapphires. We have seen Catherine dip into the vault over the last couple of years, but I feel like this would definitely be something a bit different for her, and I really would be super excited to see her in a gemstone tiara. So she usually all she's worn are pearls and diamonds, whereas, hey, nobody can complain about that. But I'd love to see her wear the sapphire piece. Okay, so for Camilla, and this is one I would say we could see, but is also one of my least favorite tiaras. It's the Brazilian aquamarine tiara. I really love aquamarines. The aquamarine tiara from Sweden, the one that often Princess Madeline wears, is my absolute favorite. I just think this design is rather ugly. <laughs> Can I say that? The aquamarines are beautiful. There's just something about it. It's, it's, they're just almost too big, the stones. And I just don't feel like they totally work. So we could see this one on Camilla. It's not my favorite, but hey, if she wants to wear it, that is her prerogative. She is queen, guys. And I feel like, again, it's one of those ones where it's somewhat safe, although this one has been seen and been worn by the queen. It's not as closely associated with her as, for example, the girls of Great Britain and Northern Ireland tiara. Okay, next up for Catherine, we have the Persian turquoise tiara. And this was one that was previously worn by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and Princess Margaret. It's been last seen on Princess Margaret. I'm really hoping that this is one Catherine starts to bust out. Although I could see Camilla wearing this one too, but given that it was mostly worn by Princess Margaret, perhaps it could be one Catherine has access to. So I would, I think this one would be super unique and interesting given that Obviously, this, these state visits were planned perhaps way in advance. Catherine may have had a dress created that she can only wear the Cambridge or the um, Queen Mary's Lover Not Tiara with. But I would love this pop of turquoise. I'm actually kind of fallen in love with turquoise tiara. 
tiaras, I just think they are really interesting and unique and something you just don't see a ton of. So if I was given a choice, I would personally go with this one for Catherine. Again, Camilla could say, eh, I want to wear this one. But I feel like since especially it was so associated with Margaret and the Queen Mother, I feel like that would be a great piece for Catherine. Okay, so the next tiara that I feel like Camilla could bust out is the Burmese Ruby tiara. So this is one where the Queen actually had a different tiara designed for her for her I believe it was her coronation and it was it was really pretty I believe that the motif in the center was a, a flower and she decided to mis dismantle it to, to make it this and added rubies to it I believe so this is not my favorite tiara either I don't feel like Queen Elizabeth particularly had great taste in jewelry and design. That was definitely Queen Mary. Oh, she she ruled the world on that. Queenie, no, not so much. So I, do, I mean, I love the rubies, but this is definitely not one of my favorite. I love what other royal families have done. And, but this is definitely one we could see on Camilla. And I don't think it's a terrible choice, but I think it would be rather interesting. Okay, and so this is one that's a fun idea. And one I didn't realize actually that was still in the vault somewhere and we've never seen it. I don't know if it's too delicate. I don't know what perhaps the issue is, but we've never really seen it. And that's Queen Adelaide's fringe tiara. So we obviously have Queen Mary's fringe tiara, but apparently there was also Queen Adelaide's tiara, fringe tiara. And this is one we have not seen in over a century. And I would absolutely love it if Catherine busted this out. I think this would be so fun to see something new and interesting. It would be absolutely gorgeous. I would love to see it, especially on Catherine. And I, cause I was actually double checking cause I thought for a second I was looking again and so, uh, somebody was like, well, this is actually Queen Mary's fringe tiara. So this one's famously was worn by the queen at her wedding, Princess Anne at her wedding, Princess Beatrice at her wedding. And if tradition goes forward, it should be worn by Princess Charlotte at her wedding. So it's gone at this point, three generations of the firstborn blood princess wearing this at her wedding. So I'm really hoping though, that we get this fringe tiara back. We know it's in the vault somewhere. Apparently the Queen's Diamonds by Hugh Roberts, which I need to order, by the way. It actually does exist still somewhere. We know that it's it's somewhere within the vault. We don't know if it's a necklace because it has been worn as that or if it's still in the tiara shape. We're not officially sure. However, I would love to see this tiara again because it's it's just something when you don't have when you have something new and you haven't seen it for a while, that's so fun. That's what I loved about Queen Maxima. She has this great, great affinity for bringing back old pieces, especially the Stuart tiara, mixing it up. So I feel like this is something that could be absolutely fabulous for Catherine. Okay, so the next one we could see is the Indian circlet tiara on Camilla. So I'm kind of trying to go, if you haven't seen my tiara 101 video, I tried to describe what our big guns. So these are generally tiaras that are big enough to only be worn by the queen. This is generally how most kingdoms operate is that there's many that the women in the family share and trade off, but there's some that are just reserved for the queen herself. And so I think the Indian circlet tiara could be one one of those. So it is from the time of Queen Victoria and she actually herself wore it. So it's it's a pretty beautiful piece, I think, rather delicate and evokes a sense of India. So it would be lovely for to see that on Camilla. It has only been worn by the Queen Mother and then her Queen, Her Majesty the Queen herself. This signifies it as one of those, like I said, a big con, one generally just worn by the Queen. So this is an option, I believe, for Camilla that she could wear. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that on this channel. We cover, we have the best and worst fashion looks that we'll do every week. In addition, we always have Tiara Tuesdays and eventually we will expand and do be doing other things as well, sharing some royal fashion items. And if you like my dress, I will put in the link in the description box down below for you as well. So the next one we could see, which we again haven't seen in decades is Queen Mary's Diamond Lozen Tiara. So this is one that we've seen on Princess Margaret and we've obviously seen it on Queen Mary as well. And she did top it with 13 pearls and she could take them off too. So we saw it with Princess Margaret and it looked like 
a low-level Kokoshnik tiara. So it has a particular and historic Russian shape. So I feel like it was just a beautiful piece. And it's something, again, that we haven't seen much of. So apparently Princess Margaret, she wore it to the coronation of Queen Juliana. And I believe that's about the last time we saw it. And so I feel like this would be a fantastic one to take out of the vaults. As far as we're aware, it is still in the vault. People would be like, oh, I have, we haven't seen that one in so long. And that's again, what's so fun about these pieces is bringing them out of the vault and seeing them in different ways. I feel like that is what is so, so fun. And so I'm really hoping we see Catherine perhaps place her stamp on this piece. It could be one that we wait until later for Princess Charlotte, but I would love to see it on Catherine. The other one we could see, and this is probably one of the grandest Kokoshnik tiaras in the world, is Queen Alexandra's Kokoshnik tiara. It is massive. It's um, just um, basically a massive wall of diamonds. This is the epitome of what we call a big gun tiara. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is full, full of diamonds. And although we've seen the Queen in this piece many, many a time. Again, I don't feel like it's so connected to her that people would be, would flip out if they saw anybody else in it. Now granted, Catherine and Camilla, they could just, they could just do it old school. They could just wear the pieces they've always worn. But I feel like this would be an incredible piece for Camilla to show off. She especially has that feathered hair, which actually does well with really, really big pieces. Both of the pieces she currently has now are, are in that style and she does them both incredibly, incredibly well. So I feel like this one would be something new, something different, something unique. And I would be really excited to see Camilla in this because I feel like it's been a while since we've seen this one I imagine that it's quite heavy and as the queen got older and this is true for many royal women she probably stopped wearing this one as much I believe because I, I feel like it's been a while since we've seen it uh, just because simply the weight the weight of some of these pieces can be immense. So I feel like it'd be incredible to see it again. Apparently it was on display at Buckingham Palace in 2015. And there's also a famous picture of the queen wearing it with President Gerald Ford in 1976. Okay, so next one again for Catherine is Queen Mary's Russian bandeau tiara. This is one again we have not seen a lot. So yeah, I'm really hoping guys, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that Catherine dips into the vaults. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is another one. It has a brilliant sapphire at the center. As far as we know, it is still within the royal household. We just haven't seen it. It's unclear if the queen just didn't like it or it was just something she wasn't interested in wearing it. Probably the last person we saw this tiara on was Princess Margaret in you know, what the 1960s, 1950s is about the last time we saw it. And again, I feel like this would fit with Catherine's sapphire piece, her engagement ring. So I think this would be a really cool thing to bust out. Obviously the, the Cambridge lover's knot is grander, but I really feel like Catherine went, shouldn't sell this one short if she has the opportunity. Again, the Queen E wasn't, wasn't very generous with sharing some of her tiaras. So we just didn't end up seeing this one much at all after the death of Queen Mary and Margaret again wore it in the 1950s and 60s and then that was it. The last time we saw it was in 1961, the wedding of Princess Astrid of Norway. Okay, so another fringe tiara we could see Camilla wear is Queen Mary's fringe tiara. This again is is a bit perhaps a bit of more of a risk because again you do have this one was worn on by the queen on her wedding day it's been worn by other members of the family so there is this deep connection to this particular tiara but at the same time i could also feel i could also see them going you know what this is a good piece a good starter piece because it has been worn by so many members of the family so it could feel like something that everybody agrees is yes it was a gorgeous piece a gorgeous steel and I feel like fringes are a particularly beautiful piece I really love love fringes I think they're incredible so I would be super excited again to see this piece and like I said I feel like there's a tradition now in the royal family for young women to wear this the firstborn blood princess of their generation so it would be fun to see this come out for this event so this next tiara is kind 
kind of interesting because I've seen pictures of it. I find it super, super interesting. It's really unique. So it's called the Tech Crescent Tiara. So this is one that was worn by Queen Mary, who is Queen Mary of Tech, or was of Tech in her original, in her original birth. And uh, it was a, it's a piece where there's a flower in the center and then crescent moons on the side. And I'm just looking at this piece going, it's just super interesting. I feel like I can't even think of, especially an older tiara with a crescent motif like this. We haven't seen anything like this. And apparently it was m among the three loaned to Queen Camilla when she first married into the royal family. So she was given access to the Delhi Durbar tiara and the Grenville tiara, the Grenville honeycomb tiara. And she has worn both of those and I believe she's worn them well. Again, she has the large hair, but apparently this one was also loaned to her, but we've never seen her in it. So I'm wondering if it's something where it just didn't fit her. She just didn't particularly like it. And I wonder if because of that we will now see this one on Catherine. Camilla's like hey now I have access to everything so maybe you should give this one a shot because again what like I don't I hate the fact that these are stuck in a vault and we don't see them that often it would just especially from the British I feel like other royal families I mean we've seen Queen Maxima wear a tiara three times in the last four weeks so Queen Queen Maxima and the other royals I feel like wear them a lot more than the Brits and that's kind of how Queen E had it set up. She didn't have as many state occasions. She stopped doing basically big birthday celebrations like the rest of the royals around the world did. But again, we haven't seen this one since it was worn by the Queen Mother years ago, decades ago, if not a, close to a century. And so it would be lovely, lovely, lovely to see this one pop back out and see how Catherine would handle something that's, I, I would say, a bit difficult, but also it could be something that's just ends up being super unique and everybody goes, whoa, that is so cool. And I feel like everybody, when it came to the queen, they were, they were incredibly respectful, incredibly, incredibly respectful. But I, I would hope, and I am really excited to see maybe some more playfulness with the tiaras within the British Royal Collection. Cause I feel like Queen E, she just wasn't that playful with them. And she, she didn't have necessarily the best taste when it came to tiara design. So the other one we might see from Camilla is one that is, I feel like just incredibly, incredibly gorgeous. And has a really unique history and has three different ways you can wear it. So this is the Vladimir, the Grand Duchess Vladimir tiara. So this is the one famously that some people think Meghan Markle wanted to wear to her wedding. I don't think she's quite crazy enough to believe that she could wear this. I really, really don't, but I could be totally wrong. So this tiara in particular has, you can actually have it three different ways. So you can either dangle pearls in between hoops, I guess you could say, and emeralds. So the queen has worn both styles and then she can also take them out so she can wear them without it. That obviously lessens the weight and lessens the movement. So if it's particularly clanking or she's having a particular headache, she can take those out and that at least minimizes some of that. So it is pretty iconic. So I feel like this would, would perhaps be a bit difficult for Camilla to pull off. But this Vladimir tiara ended up being one of the ones, one of the few that survived the Russian Revolution. And so it came to Britain, Duchess Marie of Mecklenburg and Sherwin. A, she was a German princess. She was married to Grand Duke Vladimir Alexandrikov in Russia. So he was the son of Emperor Alexander II second. So she had this tiara. So she fled St. Petersburg once it became clear that the Russian Revolution was going to happen and Tsar Nicholas II abdicated. So she took this tiara with her. So apparently during this rush trip out of the country, the tiara was damaged. So when Queen Mary purchased it in 1921, she actually purchased it from the daughter of Princess Marie. So the Queen, obviously Queen Mary was obviously able to fix it, sent it to Gerards, and made some few repairs, and she started debuting this tiara and it became one of Her Majesty's favorite, I would say. She wore this one quite frequently throughout her reign, changing up the, you know, between the pearls and the emeralds. It would actually be fun to see them actually try something new and get a new gemstone to put in there. 
that would be fun. I don't know if they could justify the expense though. But anyways, it would be awesome to see this one. And I feel like Camilla could, again, really make this TR sing. But I also feel like this one is a little less likely because again, it is very, very closely associated with the queen. It's not quite associated as the girls of Great Britain and Northern and Ireland, but I feel like it's still, again, it is very closely associated with Her Majesty. And I feel like some people would go, ah, and it is one of the, the grander and more historic tiaras within the collection. And so the final one for Catherine, obviously there's one extra for Catherine than there is for Camilla is the Tech Hoop Necklace Tiara. Again, this is a piece we haven't seen since Princess Margaret wore it years ago. We've seen, so she didn't wear the tiara, she wore the necklace because like I said in my Tiara 101 video, if you haven't seen it, is some tiaras can be transformed into a necklace and vice, and vice versa. This makes them more accessible and more, and you can do more things with them. So there's sometimes where you're just like, well, I really want to wear the tiara. It's like, well, you can wear the tiara or you want to wear the necklace and then you just wear the necklace. So there's a couple different ways you can wear this one. And Princess Margaret's the last one we really saw wear this tiara, the queen, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, did wear it as a tiara. So that was the last time we saw it utilized in that way. But we haven't seen it utilized much since. And again, I just wonder why. Why, why, why? Why is it sitting in the vault? So hopefully, hopefully we see this one make a resurgence. Now guys, that's all I have for the tiaras that we could possibly use. Just putting this out there that we, hey, we may not see anybody in anything new or interesting. That would be an immense, immense bummer for me. <laughs> not gonna lie, I would be utterly crushed if that happened just because I just really want to see some of these come out of the vault and Queen E because she had her particular things that she liked she just was not as interested in playing around and pulling out new pieces and utilizing them so I really feel like this is a time where we'll see hopefully an explosion and different uses they'll put them in their hair they'll put like take bits of the tr and be able to put it in their hair again i really hope catherine and camilla are not just so frozen by the queen and her legacy that they don't make this collection their own granted catherine still is just the princess of wales but i feel like she will have because i feel like her and camilla are quite close i'm really hoping that they are there will be some reserve just for camilla but i'm really hoping she is very very generous with catherine and that we get to see a lot more of these pieces rather than just being stuck with one or two because again queen e she doesn't share well she gave princess diana the princess of wales one tiara from the british collection to use she still had the spencer tiara that she used for her wedding but she still had the Spencer tiara she used for her wedding, but just really not as many others. So again, I'm really hoping we see something, a huge change here and really a transformation of how tiaras are worn in Britain. And now for my choices as which tiara I would like to see the ladies wear. Would love to see Catherine in the Persian turquoise tiara. I feel like that would be something a bit different for her. I feel like it would fit really, really well. And I just love to see it. And I also have, I would also be really interested in seeing one of the tech tiaras come back, specifically the tech crescent tiara. I feel like it's a bit of a unique shape and I feel like Catherine could maybe pull it off. Although I do like kind of the fringe Kokoshnik style, I feel like works a bit better. On Catherine, I wasn't a fan of her in the Lotus, but I do love her in the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot. My choice for Camilla is Queen Adelaide's fringe tiara. So I feel like this would be a unique choice for Camilla because it ha evokes the sense of Queen Mary's fringe tiara, yet it is different. And it also gives her a chance to pull out something from the vault. So that is what I'm hoping for, ladies. Please, please, please pull something from the royal vaults that we haven't seen in a century. Pretty, pretty, please. That would be lovely and would give us so much to talk about. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Please let me know what TR you are most excited to see on Catherine and Camilla. I cannot wait. I'm so, so excited. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye.